Today we're going to be reviewing the Lightime battery here. This is a 200 amp hour, 12 volt battery. I've taken it out of the packaging. I just wanted to show you everything that came with it. I'm really happy with how this got packaged in here. Nice foam cutouts. It's kind of a custom case for it. It even had a little recess cutout for the, the hardware that came with this. I'm also going to show you that this right here, it literally has kind of a friendly sticker perspective for this. I see a lot of batteries that they just come with the battery, the, the hardware is attached. It seems to ship with a couple post covers. It comes with an extra set of battery terminals. So we can actually put these in here. You know, we got this guy here and then you got the little covers over the top of them. These are feel like they're stainless hardware. And then I just wanted to show you here that in the packaging itself, it comes with a nice little case. You've got a nice little hardware card for this and just a really great sort of set of packaging and information that I don't normally see with a lot of these batteries. So for someone who is maybe this is their first purchase of a lithium battery, this is fantastic. It comes with a nice hardware manual. It shows lots of different ways to hook up the battery cables, how to line these batteries up in series and parallel. These batteries can actually be set up to be configured in a 48 volt series uh, system. So if you want to build a very large battery array, these are ready to go. The internal battery management controller inside of these handles the charge and discharge and the thermal situation. If you get too cold with lithium batteries, for example, uh, you can't charge them. These will protect the battery in that state. I wanted to just kind of set this product stuff aside for a little bit and let's look at the actual battery. So it's got nice carrying handles. Uh, we got the terminal covers. Oh, let me put this one back on because, you know, don't want to lose those. It's a nice sealed case. So lithium batteries, you can actually turn in any direction you want to. But this is a conventional battery shape. You, if you have existing hold downs in an RV or vehicle or something like that that you want to bolt this onto, it will probably accept them. I also want to point out that for a battery this size, a lead acid battery is extremely heavy. I could not just pick this up like this and kind of do this. This battery, I mean, it's not light, but is way lighter than a capacity of, of, a, of a lead acid battery of the same size. So let's talk briefly about the numbers of what this implies 200 amp hours. That means that you can run a 200 amp load on this battery for an hour. In another way, you could say that this is 2.5 kilowatt hours of capacity. So like, let's say that you had, I don't know, a cooktop, uh, like an electric griddle through an inverter, and it pulled a thousand watts of power you would be able to run this for two and a half hours off of this battery uh, before you discharge this battery completely. So realistically, you don't ever do that. What you might do is use it just for maybe 30 minutes or 20 minutes. So what you have now is a battery that potentially for small campers and things like that, this is completely replacing the, all the house batteries in that space. In their specifications, they talked about the uh, number of cycles for this battery. It's 4,000 cycles, which means that Full, full of charge to empty charge 4,000 times before it's worn out, so to speak. That works out to about 10 years of daily cycling the battery. So if you discharge it completely and recharged it every day, 365 days a year, you could do it for 10 years. And that's a pretty long time for a battery. That basically replaces entirely the, the capacity of existing systems that might have had a couple lead acid batteries in a camper or something like that. The retail cost of this battery is I believe $600 right now. That ends up being about 4.2 cents per watt. That's also you could say $234 of your battery is used every hour of a full discharge. But what it really means is that on a 10 year cycle of using this battery, you might replace lead acid batteries several times in 10 years of using this, maybe two or three times by springing for a battery this size and this, of this capacity uh, in the lithium space, you've basically reduced the amount of waste of those lead acid batteries several times, and you've probably extended it beyond that because it's based on the number of cycles. If you only cycle it for 2000 times, well then you potentially have a battery that's lasting for much longer than its, its initial spec for these things. So I definitely would encourage investigating, looking at how this might fit in your vehicle or in your other applications. Maybe it's marine, maybe it's something like that. 